The marketing for Dragon Age The Veil Guard has been odd to say the very least. Our very first introduction to this title was a cinematic trailer that was exceptionally cartoony, that resembled nothing so much as 1980s or 90s style Saturday morning cartoons for children, the kind of thing that a 10 year old might get excited about, but not so much grown adults. The response to this initial cinematic trailer, which was just playing goofy with very goofy music on top of that, was something along the lines of, well, Bioware's always done this sort of thing, and that's just the way they do it. Even such luminaries as David Gator made this claim. That was the first offense in response, and the second one was something along the lines of, wait till you see the gameplay. But this goofy cinematic trailer was and is very indicative of the very strange and odd marketing that Bioware has been engaging in ever since we acquired the privilege to see this cinematic trailer. After the goofy cinematic trailer, as well as the somewhat mediocre gameplay trailer, Bioware has been engaged in a lot of marketing. Tons of articles have been published with small amounts of information here and there, as well as the developers having done an entire interview talking about the game. And this time around, there's yet a new element in the marketing, this so-called Dragon Age Council, which is basically composed of individuals who are essentially hardcore Dragon Age fans slash Bioware fans who look at Bioware products and games with a completely uncritical eye. And even if they were critical about certain things, they're not allowed to give voice to that criticism because effectively they are working for Bioware. No, they're not getting paid for this, but they did get access to earlier builds. They have inside information that the public does not have. And Bioware would not have picked these individuals on the so-called council if they were critical individuals who were also willing to voice that criticism. And that aspect of things follows a certain strand when it comes to the marketing and general perception of Dragon Age The Veil Guard ever since that first cinematic trailer. The idea that any criticism, no matter how level-headed or non-extreme, somehow fundamentally equates to negativity, because by my lights, what this council represents is this very uncritical perspective when it comes to games in general, and very specifically Bioware. And anything remotely critical, or anything expressing doubt or some skepticism, is instantly equated to negativity in an extreme form of reductio ad absurdum. I'm not so sure about this aspect of the game. Oh, stop being negative. You're ruining the party. We don't want you anymore. And I can't emphasize this enough. The people that were selected for the council are uncritical people who equate everything critical and everything skeptical concerning Bioware and Dragon Age with negativity. And that's why I don't find the so-called council a particularly convincing element of the marketing because, to put it bluntly and perhaps not so politely, they are all Bioware sycophants who will never publicly voice an iota of criticism. In fact, inasmuch as they're producing videos that promote the game, they're engaging in the same type of marketing and rhetoric that Bioware has been doing for the past month or so. Namely, all these characters, be it the developers or the members of the so-called council, are spending copious amounts of time talking about the game. Now you might say, Spell and Shield, what's wrong with talking about the game? Everyone talks about a game that they're looking to promote, that they've been developing, talking and discussion is required. I don't deny that for a second, but the issue here is both the manner in which they're engaging in this discussion, and the fact that all they're doing is talking, more or less. So let's talk about the manner in which they're engaging in this discussion. It's very strange, and it smacks of the marketing campaign back in the day, for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's also reminiscent of a certain type of human behavior. We've all met people in our lives occasionally that like to boast and brag and talk about themselves, and these are the types of people that will tell you that they're very intelligent, or they're very beautiful, or they're very rich. They're constantly telling you this, look how smart I am, look how pretty I am, look how much money I have. The problem with these types of braggarts, or boastful individuals, is that things such as beauty, or wealth, or intelligence, are typically self-evident and can be derived from simple observation of said individuals. Nobody who's truly beautiful needs to tell you that they're beautiful. You will see it. They will look beautiful. It's instantaneous recognition. Likewise with wealth. And intelligent individuals prove they're intelligent by their actions. What have the developers been doing though? They've been engaged in a non-stop discussion and non-stop talks about how great they think their game is. How this is the best Dragon Age game ever. They've never made a game quite like this. The characters, the companions, and even the combat is the best ever. We, the developers, are going to tell you how great our game is. We're going to tell you over and over and over. Again, very much akin to the individual who's boastful about their looks or their intelligence or their wealth. 
The response to this, I think, the appropriate response, is, no pun intended, show me the money. Bioware and their uncritical fans can talk about how great the game is until they're blue in the face, and we can listen to it again and again and again. But they provided no evidence for this. All we have is the biased claims of the developers and the civilian non-developer exponents of Bioware, such as the Council, telling us what we should think without providing any evidence for why we should think this way. And there's another curious thing if you think about it. Usually consumers, i.e. gamers, don't find developers keeping high praise upon the games they develop very convincing. Of course developers are going to say that their game is good. They made the game, they're heavily biased, and they have an incentive to sell it because the publisher and the shareholders demand that it be sold. And gaming consumers have been burnt on this formula for far too long, which is why I mentioned the marketing campaign for Cyberpunk 2077. We saw very, very little. We had developers talking about how great this game was over and over and over, and then in similar fashion to Dragon Age, albeit without a so-called council, CD Projekt Red had people, prominent YouTubers, promoting their game in like manner based on limited exposure to the actual game, telling us repeatedly that Cyberpunk 27 would be the second coming of Christ. And four years later, we all know how that went. Needless to say, upon release, Cyberpunk 2077 was a buggy mess that did not deliver on the many, many promises they made about the game. But it did sell well precisely because of the lies in marketing, at least initially. Now credit where it's due, CD Projekt Red did clean their game up, and at the moment of making this video, Cyberpunk 2077 is a very good game overall, but it still lacks many of the things that CD Projekt Red had originally promised. They're just not in the game. All these issues lead to a simple conclusion. If the game is as amazing as you are telling us, Bioware, as well as the servants of Bioware, the so-called council, then it should be absolutely no problem to show us something of the game. In the past month, we've heard many times about the much vaunted character creator, the greatest character creator they've ever made, and one that's being compared to the character creator of Dragon's Dogma. And apropos, Dragon's Dogma released their character creator a week before the game came out to the public so people could play around with it and see how great it was, and indeed it was very impressive. If Bioware is as confident as they claim to be, they can show us significantly more. They can show us the character creator, as I've just mentioned, they can show us more about the combat and the skill trees. Show us, please, Bioware, that the weapons have heft and weight behind them. That combat feels meaty and weighty when you're wielding a giant maul or two-handed sword. Show us how cool the spells look when you're playing a mage. And nobody is asking for significant story spoilers. We're told by Bioware and the Council that the game is beautiful, the most beautiful game that Bioware's ever made. We're told that the combat is the most fun they've ever had in a Dragon Age game. Then show us this stuff to show us some environments and combat and skill trees does not involve spoilers necessarily. Why are they so hesitant to do this? It's a good question and one that begs an answer. Now, everything I've said notwithstanding, it is entirely possible that this game is as good as the developers and the council claim. In theory, it could be the best game that Bioware has ever made and I concede that possibility. I'm happy to be proven wrong about this, but the marketing strategy of how they're approaching this is just wrong. It's unconvincing to the greater public and the people who are seriously considering getting this game. I think a good example, and forgive me for bringing up this example because it's a very common one, of how marketing for a game ought to be done is that of Baldur's Gate 3, to be perfectly frank. Larian never bragged about their product, but they did show us their product. And obviously Early Access contributed to this marketing, but that's a separate discussion for a different time. We got the panel from Hell, introducing new races, new classes, and gameplay mechanics. That is how you market a game. Yes, talk about the game, but show us something. When it comes to such things, words are ultimately cheap. And a picture says a thousand words as the saying goes. So I think it's time for Bioware to step up to the plate and stop praising their own game and show us the things that make this game good. Show us gameplay. Show us the character creator. Show us the environments. Showing the public those few things alone would shore up the confidence of many individuals, myself included, when it comes to this game. And again, the burning question remains, why are they not doing this? And you'll forgive me, again, if I'm reminded of that type of person who needs to tell the rest of the world how amazing they are, how smart, how intelligent, how beautiful, perhaps in part because they themselves are not ultimately convinced of how great they are. And perhaps it's the case that Bioware is not as convinced 
as they claim they are with all the talking that they've been doing. It just reminds me of that type of a person, and we've seen it before when it comes to marketing video games. So show us the money, please. Anyway, do let me know what you think about the very strange marketing that Bioware has been engaging in in recent weeks. And as always, thank you very much indeed for tuning in. If you like my content, leaving a like, subbing, and above all, writing a comment really helps out the channel as it promotes engagement. It's much appreciated, and I will check you out next time. Take care.